details. Wow. Let's turn on the weather. Meteorologist Alex Puckett is in for Chief Meteorologist Ashley Gann right now. I don't know what that was, a plane or a bird that took off behind you, Alex. <laughs> I think we have a creepy critter <laughs> crawling across the lens. Hey, the weather for us and for the bugs has been fantastic today. Don't get used to the really nice weather, though, because cold air moving back in. Temperature down to 52 right now in Coleman's view from the Regional Medical Center, but the colder air pushing in from the north and west behind the cold front. The clouds that we saw today are breaking up. You can still see quite a bit of cloud cover back into southeast Alabama, especially from Montgomery south and east. But here the sky is clearing out, and that means temperatures are going to tumble more than they did last night. We don't have that insulating blanket of cloud cover in place, so we'll get below freezing. The radar with a clean sweep. We've seen a few showers earlier today down to our south, but the moisture really did stay south of us as we went through the day today. But check out the temperature in Hamilton down to 49, still in the 50s for much of central Alabama. But that cold air is slowly but surely starting to push in from the northwest. And that means things are going to be getting cold again as we head through tonight. We'll stay above freezing through 10 p.m., probably past that and past midnight. But the temperature does get below the 32 degree mark later on tonight and by tomorrow morning. Temperatures are starting out in the 20s for your commute. So this morning wasn't too cold to start your day. Tomorrow morning you'll be wanting to grab the jacket before you head out the door and you might potentially need to scrape a little bit of frost off the windshield to start your drive tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow afternoon it's going to stay on the colder side with most of us staying below 50. The exceptions being well south of I-20, places like Clanton, Alexander City, south and east of Birmingham. A few spots may be making it to the 50 degree mark or a little higher, but most of us staying in the 40s for tomorrow. We stay dry tomorrow. There'll be lots of sunshine as we head through the day. It'll be a cold start in the morning, 20s, maybe a few low 30s in the warm spots. We stay in the 40s for the most part as we head into the afternoon. And then Thursday, a little bit of relief from the cold, a brief warm up Thursday, but then more cold air pushing in on Friday behind another cold front. I don't expect much moisture with that one either. Generally dry weather over the next several days. Here's that cold front that pushes through Thursday night into Friday but not really any rain showing up with that one. So dry weather over the next seven days. I don't think our next rain chance comes in and probably until about nine or 10 days ahead towards the second half of next week. Temperatures cooler than average as we head through the rest of this week, but we do warm up as we head into the start of next week.